when you talk about data interpretation and logical reasoning, why most people are not able to master it is because they don't understand what to do. I will give you a small example of how things go wrong. If you see the complete, the pedagogy and the study uh, style for most people in data and predation, and you can look at this across institutes, people start build, putting DI into boxes and chapters. Pie chart is one chapter, bar chart is another chapter. Right? Table is the third chapter. Is is logic pe hum DI ko break kar sakta hai? pie chart alag kar dete hai, bar chart alag kar dete hai, tables alag kar dete hai, case lists alag kar dete hai. Aise saath aat chapters bana dete hai, every question, every visual line graphs alag kar dete hai, xy charts alag kar dete hai, triangular graphs alag kar dete hai. Right, we can break this down into this. But what is the value of doing it? Why is the value close to zero of doing it this way? The answer is very simple to see. Suppose I give you a bar chart question and I say, these are two companies, x and y. And I ask you a simple data interpretation question. Data interpretation questions are about information from data. And this is sales of uh, company X and this is sales of company Y. And I ask you what is the percentage? Let's say this is 20 and this is 30. And I ask you what is the percentage change of, from sales of company X to sales of company Y. There's a particular skill required to get to that answer. Okay. Now, if I put the same data on a table sales of company X and sales of company Y and ask you the same question what is the percentage change of sales from company X to company Y are you going to use different structure of thinking does this question require a different skill from this question then what is the point of studying I mean, uh, which then means that this question is transferable from a bar chart to, to a table to a pie chart. When you do a chapter in quants, if you're studying permutation combination and you're studying time split distance, why do we keep these two chapters separate? Because when you have a question from here, the skill required to solve this is not the same as the skill required to solve this. The skill and knowledge required to solve this is very different from the skill and knowledge required, required to solve this. So, keeping permutation combination as a separate chapter and keeping time speed distance as a separate chapter is very valid. I should study the skills and knowledge for this separately from the skills and knowledge for this. But does that condition transfer itself here? Wo condition here transfer ho then what is the value of saying that pie chart is my first chapter and bar chart is my second chapter in, in data interpretation? Zero, the value is zero. Unfortunately, for convenience, across the country, the pedagogy of DI is this only. The, the structure and the pedagogy is completely wrong because, because you are getting, you are trying to study pie charts, thinking that there will be some skills that I will pick up here which will transfer to the next pie chart question, right? But there's no skill specific to a pie chart in data and prediction. Apart from the reading, okay, you should read the bar chart. What is this? 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 That's it. 